Hello, welcome back to the One Bar and Lupagus show. Uh, apparently, Drew Samia has tested positive for COVID-19, and apparently this guy is going to negatively impact the team, whether he's on the field or not. So with Drew Samia testing positive uh, for COVID, uh, here's what happens. Anybody who was in close contact with him through the NFL's close contact tracing protocol cannot travel to the game to Chicago. Um, and that's the big concern here. So Drew Samia isn't starting, but you got to think he's in all the linemen meetings. Uh, he's in that room with the offensive linemen. Maybe even the backs are in there. Uh, so obviously the big worry is the Vikings are going to potentially lose starters uh, across the board on the O-line because of this. Uh, Garrett Bradbury, uh, Brian O'Neill, Riley Reef, Ezra Cleland. I mean, these are all guys who are definitely... You would assume, I mean, we don't know what goes on, how practices are worked, how everybody's really involved with each other on a day-to-day -day basis in Vikings practice, but just knowing that they, they play together and they're rotating in and out, how they can't be in close contact with each other is, is kind of the, the surprise. Um, we'll see what happens. Uh, this hasn't really, uh, I mean, we look back at the San Francisco 49ers a week ago. They lost half their team because of something like this. So, um, again, uh, very scary situation. And then another thing is, you know, it, was Kirk Cousins close to him? Was Delvin Cook close to him? That's, you know, you, you don't want <laughs> to go into this game against the Bears uh, with pieces of your old line missing and, you know, not having your star back ready to go. Obviously, we want Drew Samia to be okay. We want him to be healthy, uh, get better soon. But we got to look at this also from a, from a game standpoint, and it's not good. Um, Again, we'll see how the contract tracing works out, shakes out, but don't be surprised if later today, tomorrow morning, we're hearing uh, a list of guys who cannot go to the game because of this. Um, and that's the other thing. Now, does this game get bumped? Does it get moved? Um, they didn't do it when San Francisco 49ers lost half their team because of something uh, very similar. So my guess is that the game will go on. It's just a matter of who the Vikings will have available to them as far as the O-line goes. Um, some people have been wanting to see Ole Udo. Some people want to see Blake Brandel. Uh, maybe this is the game you, you all get your wish because they're going to be at home because they were uh, hanging out with Drew Samia. Um, again, for a team whose playoffs hopes and dreams hinge upon this game, hinge upon them going to Chicago, ending the four-game losing streak, and finally winning there. Uh, this is this couldn't come at a worse time for the Vikings. Uh, again, we'll see how it shakes out. Maybe no one um, was in close contact with Samia. Uh, I don't know. But, again, you would think at least core members of the O-line, quarterbacks, running backs, would all have been in contact with this guy. Uh, we'll see. We'll see how it shakes out. But uh, Drew Samia testing positive for COVID. Uh, not a good sign for the Minnesota Vikings uh, and their chances for uh, winning on Monday night. Um, again, we'll keep our fingers crossed, our toes crossed, our balls crossed, that everything uh, pans out okay. And again, we do want Drew Samia to be fully healthy. So again, guys, um, you know, this isn't great news, but remember to always keep your skull in your hole.